video, I'm going to compare the 8% glycolic acid toner from the minimalist and the 7% glycolic acid toner from the ordinary. Both the products exfoliate our skin using glycolic acid. Glycolic acid is a very good exfoliating ingredient. You see, what happens is cells in the visible layer of the skin, the top layer of the skin, have to fall off regularly on their own. But some of these cells are very stubborn. They cling to each other, form long chains and refuse to fall off. They can actually cause a lot of skin concerns. They can go and clog the pores. Pores are the small openings in our skin and when the pores get clogged that will result in breakouts like pimples, acne, blackheads and whiteheads. Uh, they also give the skin a very dull appearance and they can also lead to dehydrated skin and dehydrated skin again can result in more breakouts. Once these stubborn old cells cling to each other and form those long chains, they can't fall off easily on their own. Even if you cleanse your face regularly on a daily basis, that cleansing ingredient can't make these uh, old stubborn cells to fall off because the bonds between them are so strong that it needs something additional than your regular cleansing ingredient. And that's where exfoliating ingredients like glycolic acid come into play. Glycolic acid, for example, when applied on the face, it'll go and target the bones that's, that's between these stubborn old cells. By breaking the bones, it's breaking the chains. And once the chains break off, these old cells can easily fall off. Glycolic acid, when it's between 5 to 7 percent, it's called a mild glycolic acid product. Between 8 and 10, it's called a medium strength glycolic acid product and above 10 percent it's called a very strong glycolic acid product so if you look at the concentration minimalist does have eight percent and ordinary has seven percent so minimalist does have more so it's going to be a bit more effective in the glycolic acid department when compared to the ordinary but here's the thing that we need to be aware of glycolic acid glycolic acid can also sometimes irritate our skin you see glycolic acid belongs to a class of ingredients called alpha hydroxy acids now these are all exfoliating, chemical exfoliating ingredients that are used in skincare. Now out of all the alpha hydroxy acids, glycolic acid has the smallest molecule size and that actually makes it effective because this small size lets it penetrate a bit deeper into the skin and do its job much more effectively. But because it can go a bit deeper into the skin, it can irritate the skin. But I do want you to remember that glycolic acid is a very good skincare exfoliating ingredient. The fear of irritation it should not be the reason why you stop using glycolic acid. You can avoid that irritation by picking the right glycolic acid product and doing the right things after exfoliating your skin with glycolic acid. But in this case, the amount of glycolic acid used is not that high. Having said that, if it's used the wrong way, it can still cause irritation. So that's something we just need to be aware of when it comes to glycolic acid. So based on what I've just said, I would have to say that if you've got sensitive skin, go for the ordinary product because it's got lesser amount of glycolic acid, right? But I'm still going to say minimalist because I don't like certain ingredients that's there in the ordinary. Ordinary has certain flower waters. Yes, they can be good for the skin. They can be very soothing to the skin, but it can also cause irritation to the skin. So I don't want these ingredients, especially in an exfoliating product, which is called glycolic acid as its primary active ingredient. Both the products have the correct pH range. The pH range that's needed for this kind of product is between 3.5 and 4, and both of them sit well in that range. pH is what measures the acidity or the alkalinity of a product. pH is important because if the wrong pH is used, it can irritate the skin or it can't actually do its job well. Both the products have hydrating ingredients. When you exfoliate your skin, it does tend to leave the skin a bit dry. So having a hydrating ingredient in an exfoliating product is always helpful. Ordinary has more hydrating ingredients and more anti-inflammatory. Anti-inflammatory ingredients are the ones which can actually reduce the irritation and calm and soothe the skin. It does have more than the minimalist, but I'm not going to hold that against minimalist because the minimalist product does what it says it will do. It doesn't have any irritating ingredients like the flower waters and the fragrance and everything. It said it's a glycolic acid toner and that's what it does and it's thrown in a couple of hydrating ingredients in there. 
So I'm going to pick minimalist because of its minimalistic and uh, non-irritating ingredient list and I just want to be safe. So whatever your skin type, if you do want to use a glycolic acid toner, I would just go for the minimalist product. And another thing is the price. Yes, the minimalist, if you go on Amazon and look at the price, minimalist is just only slightly cheaper than the ordinary. But if you're based in India, it becomes a very easy choice. Minimalist is much, much, much lower in price than the ordinary. Then it's just, um, uh, it's an easy decision there. It's minimalist because of the benefits, minimalist because of the price. Exfoliation brightens up the skin because it's getting rid of those dead old cells and replacing them with younger and the newer and the brighter cells. So that's going to bring in some brightening effect on the skin. It is also going to reduce the chances of breakouts because it's making sure that those dead cells go don't go and clog the pores. And finally, it's getting rid of the surface level hyperpigmentation. You see, what happens is the skin cells in the visible layer of the skin, sometimes they have this excess amount of a pigment called melanin. And this excess pigment is actually what's hyperpigmentation. So some of these stubborn old cells probably were also carrying this excess pigment in them. So when you get rid of that dead old stubborn cells, you're also getting rid of the excess pigment that they were carrying inside them. So that means the surface level hyperpigmentation will be gone. But you see, I would like to point out here that if you get rid of the surface level hyperpigmentation doesn't mean you've gotten rid of all the hyperpigmentation. There is pigmentation which can exist in the deeper layers of skin as well but still be visible on the skin. Glycolic acid or any exfoliating product cannot have an effect on that kind of hyperpigmentation. You always exfoliate at night, doesn't matter if it's this product or any other product, exfoliate at night because you are indoors and that helps. Uh, cleanse your face and then apply the stoner, leave it on for a minute or slightly more and then top it up with a moisturizer, a good moisturizer. No irritating ingredients in the moisturizer. If the moisturizer has some good anti-inflammatory ingredients, please use that because after exfoliation, you do want to calm the skin down. So using any good anti-inflammatory ingredient helps. Anti-inflammatory ingredients, a few of them I'm going to list in the description below. Anti-inflammatory ingredients basically reduce the irritation and calm the skin down. The next day, don't forget sunscreen. Sunscreen is a must every day. If you have exfoliated the previous night, must, must, must. It's a must. And don't forget sunscreen indoors as well. Use it two to three times. Start slow. Start with two days a week and then go up to three days. And if you have done something very irritating to the skin the previous day, let's say you've waxed your skin or you've threaded or done anything like that, a micro needle, foliation should not be done on the skin for two days before that process or after that process because skin is very tender at that time. Glycolic acid is a chemical exfoliant. There's a whole range of other exfoliants called physical exfoliants. Now chemical exfoliants get rid of these stubborn old cells by targeting those bonds and that's very gentle. But physical exfoliants on the other hand, they are like a brush. They literally go and brush off those old cells. They go and scrub that old cells off our skin. Can you imagine how harsh that's going to be for our skin? It's going to lead to a lot of irritation, which in turn, irritation on our skin will always lead to pigmentation. So always pick a chemical exfoliant over a physical exfoliant. That's it. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like and do subscribe to my channel. That will really help me a lot.